What are some important things that an online curriculum designer needs to keep in mind to lower barriers encountered by potential users? Terrific. That's a great question. Thank you, Janet. Um, so uh, where we ended the last session was really um, referencing some of the UDL guidelines and the, the nine checkpoints under each uh, of the three categories of um, representation, action, and expression, and engagement. Um, I'm going to shift gears for just a moment here and uh, go to another set of guidelines that I think are particularly useful um, because they get you know, increasingly concrete and specific. And, and I think that's where we need to go in this, in this particular session. I want to say, I wanted to say too, that if you're a teacher in the classroom, that much of what we're going to be talking about in this section may be technologically mind-boggling. Um, I, coming from the position of teacher in the classroom, will tell you that a lot of it is. It doesn't mean that this is not something you might not want to listen to, but uh, really you might want to refer to part one for the particular issues that you want to think about in using these curricula. And, and I'll try and, make sure, uh, try and make it not too technologically mind-boggling. So, um, so uh, one, of the, one of the things that's happened in the last few years is the federal government has